Alright, so this is a demo of uh, how to use a method for MiniGB and how to restrict um, when the results are actually coming or when the method is actually executing. So, um, what we have here is we have a method called get some departments um, and it basically just goes over a collection and um, adds and creates another collection that it returns and it only adds um, item if they equal, if the location is equal to some parameter that we're passing to this method. So the location is the parameter, we're then looping over the records and adding only those in the specific location to a list that we're returning. Um, there are two uh, system out printer lens in here. One is here in the beginning, just so you'll know that we're actually in the uh, method, and the other one is just after we're adding something to the list. Um, and we'll use the, those to indicate whether the method is actually running. So I have this in my Java class. I uh, right-clicked on the Java class and created the data control. So the method also appears in here. Okay, so this is basically our facade class. And this is the method, you can see the parameter, and you can see the return, which is a collection of departments. Now go, let's go and build a page that actually uses this method. So we're going to take the method, drag it over, and drop it as um, a parameter form. Okay, so it's going to accept the location, have a button that actually invokes the method, and then we'll put in um, the results as, let's say, a read-only table in here. Okay, like that. So I can click save and let's actually run the page. So um, while it's running, I'll explain that what you're going to see is that the method is actually going to be invoked the minute that we're entering the page. Okay, so we're actually um, uh, going to see the system out print LN output in the log window over here the minute that the page completes its uh, loading up in the browser. So you actually saw the fetching data message, which means that we actually went and fetched something. Uh, there's no records because the parameter is empty, and if we actually look at the log, you'll see that we're inside the populating method, which means that the method was invoked. And um, now, by the way, if I go and I put in a value like that, and I press the button, I'll get the department in this location, and you'll see that the method was again invoked, and we also added something into the collection. All right, so what we actually want to do is we want to prevent the method from being executed when the page first load. So where is this method coming from? If we actually look at the binding, we'll see that the table is populated from this, right? This uh, executable, right? And um, what we can do is restrict when this executable is actually going to be executed by using the property here called the refresh condition. Okay. So what would be the condition? Uh, if we again look at our page, we see that we have a parameter. So we don't want to actually execute the method until we have a value in the parameter. So let's copy the value here, right, like that, and go to the binding, go to the executable, right, and go to the um, refresh condition. Okay. And we're going to click the edit, and we're going to say only execute it, okay, um, when the value is not equal to null, okay? So this is basically the expression language that we're going to use here. Let's click save and rerun the page. Okay, we'll also clear our log window so we won't get confused with the previous messages. So let's look over here, and we can see now that the method wasn't executed because there's no line that says in the method, in the output here, right? However, if we go now and put some value in here, like that, and click the button, okay, we get the results, and we can also see that the method, okay, got executed in here, and then we just added the list of values.